There are changes to tell you about regarding the mask mandate in Colorado. Governor Polis has extended the requirement for another 30 days. You have to wear one in schools, child care centers, and government buildings. But groups of 10 or more gathered inside don't have to mask up if 80% of that group has been vaccinated. A lot to keep track of. Rick Salinger, live tonight in Centennial to break things down. Rick, the changes are causing some confusion for business owners. Well, you got that right, Jim. If stores like Curate Mercantile here in Centennial are going to go by these new rules, they may have to have somebody standing at the door checking out vaccination cards before people go inside. At this store and others, it's another day and another mask order to figure out. I woke up to the news just like everyone else did, um, that there was a new mandate that we were going to have to enforce somehow. And the new rules allow people to be indoors without masks if there are 10 or more present and 80 percent have been vaccinated. In practice, it's very hard for us as small businesses to be the ones enforcing or policing the vaccination records of people walking in and out of our doors every day. If she is having trouble trying to sort out the new mask rules, imagine what restaurants are going through or grocery stores trying to figure out if 80% of the people inside have been vaccinated. And there are other issues. How do we retain this information? Are people really giving informed consent to the disclosure of this type of information as part of their privacy? Letting people take off the masks inside may be seen as a step forward, but a difficult one. As for the customers caught in the middle. If a store says I can come in without my mask since I vaccinated, that's fine with me. I will not wear a mask. Good for her. Remember we told you it could be a problem for grocery stores? Well, we just heard back from King Supers a little while ago, and they said there's no way they can enforce an 80% vaccinated rule inside. So everyone, staff and customers, will have to remain wearing their masks when in the stores. Live in Centennial, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.